In this video, I show you how to get summary statistics of a variable using the summarize command. By the end of this video, you should know how to use the command sum. To summarize a variable, we type in the command sum, S-U-M, space, and then the variable name, comma, detail. For example, if I had a variable named IQ and I wanted to summarize it using the sum command, I type in sum space IQ comma space detail. Remember, this command will only work if you have data loaded into status memory. Let's see how the sum command works in practice. I've already loaded a data set into status memory. Let's say I want to summarize the per capita GDP variable which is roughly a measure of how much money a country makes on a per person basis. The variable name is GDP PC. To summarize that variable, I go to the command window and I type in sum GDP PC comma space detail. And this is what I get. Briefly, let's review what each part of this output tells us. The leftmost column gives us the variable's different percentile scores. So, for example, beside the 50% sign, we get the variable's 50th percentile score, or median score, which is 4955. The 50th percentile score means that half of all of the observations in this variable are below 4955, and half are above. Beside the 5%, we see 641.7178. That means that 5% of the scores in this variable are below 641. The 95th percentile score is 32499. That means that 95% of, of, of all of the data points in this variable have scores that are lower than 32499. The second column lists the four largest and smallest observations in this variable. The smallest GDP PC score, or per capita GDP score, was 140, or $140 per person. The largest score was 123,263. That means that the highest GD per capita GDP on record in this variable is $123,263 per person. In this box, the summarize output gives us the variable mean score, 9815, and its standard deviation, 12104. This box tells us how many observations or observed values are in this variable. If you look beside the OBS or OBS line, we'll see the number 5151. That means that this variable has 5,151 observations. In the bottom right-hand corner, we get some summary statistics that describe the overall shape and distribution of the variable. Variance gives us a sense of how spread out the values are. Skewness tells us whether we get very, very large or very, very small numbers that sort of drift away from the mean. Kurtosis gives us a sense of how concentrated the values are around the mean. Let's review. To get summary statistics of a variable in status memory, we use the sum command. The syntax is sum, space, and then the variable name, comma, space, detail. Remember, this command will only work if you've loaded data into status memory. For more information, please visit my website josephncohen.org